You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're back here at Flamingo Land Resort to bring you all one final construction update, I hope so, on their new 10 inversion roller coaster. It looks so good. It does indeed. Since it was last here, it's been a couple of months since I filmed an update, the coaster has now been completely repainted. It looks absolutely stunning. I really like the grey colour. It looks great. It's your first time seeing it like I this. Did, yeah. I was here a couple of months ago seeing the progress of the paintwork, and I tell you what, already it seems like so much more work has been going on on the construction site. We're going to have updates firstly from inside the park and then towards the end of the updates from here outside of the park as well uh, because yeah there's loads to cover in this vlog. Along with that we are actually visiting the park today as well. Tomorrow's video will be a full vlog from the park packed with on-ride POVs. So stay tuned for that. So come and join us as we start off inside the park looking at the new 10 inversion roller coaster. So we're going to start off this update here from the queue line of Velocity where we get an awesome view looking over this brilliant new coaster and I've got to say the colour scheme is fantastic. It really is with the grey track and the black supports. Yeah, you can also see how they put all the fencing in around here as well. So when I was last in the park, obviously last year um, around this area, it was all like the temporary Harris fencing around. Yeah, they put the black permanent fencing in and yeah, that matches the supports, which is really nice there as well. Now from here, we can also get a bit of a look at what seems to be the entrance to the queue line and possibly the ride's exit as well. You'll see it in a moment when I head back down onto ground level. But yeah, it looks like that could possibly be the entrance to the queue line there. That you're actually going to walk under that ninth inversion on the ride. So yeah, and then you're going to kind of come underneath it and up towards the station. Now obviously, we do know that down here, you've got this tunnel. Now that was there before uh, to make your way into the park really, underneath Velocity. That's still in place. As we can see, they've rerouted the rest of the path. So yeah, it seems like here there's a big ditch with a pathway in. Maybe that's going to be the right exit down here, or this is just going to literally open up as a pathway to continue on through. So you'll be able to just walk underneath the ride, which would be quite nice. But this final 10th inversion here is going to be great. So you're going to be able to look straight up and see the ride. I reckon they'll put some sort of netting or something over there. And talking of building a structure, as you can see on the left-hand side here, they are putting in a metal structure at the moment, which makes me think that, uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing some kind of netting or maybe wire mesh going over there but uh, no it looks good a look here from velocity let's head down onto ground level now and carry on so yeah just down here at the exit now to velocity and yeah you get a bit of a view there into the station i'll zoom in a little bit for you but yeah can't see loads are they possibly air gates over the side there it's quite hard to see however it's looking good there's i don't think we're too far away now from finally getting on this 10 inversion coaster but yeah you're gonna get some awesome views that final inversion around here at the bottom when you're walking through that pathway there. Wow, an awesome view there of Velocity. And I'll tell you what's even better, our first look in person at the train design there for this brand new roller coaster. Now it's quite hard to see it. However, there it is right round the other side there of the track for Velocity. I'll tell you what, this is really exciting. As you can see, it's the new style entering trains. I say that, uh, new compared to Colossus at Thorpe Park. And the best thing about these trains, the fact that they have got lap bars, Charlotte. That's a really enjoyable ride, to be honest, without having over the head. Yeah, because you've not done Altair, no, which is in Italy. Know, so it'd be quite good, that will. Really exciting. Yeah. But the fact that the train's out here makes me think that, you know, are we going to be seeing more testing happening soon? Uh, fingers crossed. Now, it doesn't look like there's a zero car on there at the moment. In fact, there definitely isn't. But yeah, there's a zoom in for you. I'm um, looking at the train design. Yeah, they've completely been repainted. Uh, I believe they were green when they were first delivered. I hadn't seen them in person, but you know what? That is looking absolutely awesome. I cannot wait. And it's staged seating as well. As you can see, the back seat's a little bit higher than the one in front of it. So excited, Charlotte. I'm really excited too. And in terms of groundwork on this side, we're going to head outside the park shortly and get some more footage. But as you can see, it looks like we've got some sort of structure going in here. So maybe is that going to be the entrance to the queue line and the exit? Uh, or is that going to be just a walkway under the ride? It's quite hard to tell. However, I'm really pleased to see they've removed some of the old buildings that were down here that looked very messy before. Um, so yeah, it's tidying up the park, which is really nice to see. Definitely. Right, we'll head around the other side and then, yeah, we'll head out of the park and get some footage there because actually you can see more of this ride from down that area. 
And yeah, just before we head back round that side, here's that walkway that's not been in use for a few years now. Uh, this used to really be the main way down to this area of the park. Uh, but of course, when they removed some of the rides at the left of Velocity to allow for the construction to take place, uh, then yeah, they widened the path. Whereas now, it looks like this is going to be coming back into use. You can see they've kind of extended it off. It heads to the right and underneath the 10th and final inversion. Oh, I tell you what, I cannot wait to see this beast running round. And yeah, as you can see, they've put the black fencing in, which matches the supports all round here as well. And yeah, you saw it a few minutes ago from up there at Velocity's queue line. And I'll tell you what, this is looking awesome. Now, yeah, the angle that you get at the coaster from here is great. Obviously, the four barrel rolls all in a row there before it heads round into the final fifth barrel roll, um, of course, near the end of the layout, and a great view of the Cobra roll there as well. But yeah, the fact that we've got this water in place here does make me think, oh, we're going to see some kind of water effect. I'd love to see a big fountain or something on there. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the track colour. I know it looks very similar to Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. However, I would say that Icon supports are grey and not black. Whereas these, as you can see, they're like a, a matte black colour, really. Uh, but I tell you what, guys, this is a massive ride to be excited for. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to just seeing the progress on this now. Uh, and finally seeing it testing. And of course, getting on it this summer. So we're around the corner now, aren't we, Charlotte? Oh, it looks so impressive, doesn't yeah. it? It does indeed. I love the colour scheme. And yes, we've actually got a ramp that's gone into place since I was last here at the park. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a steep ramp, but it's got to be because you've got one of the barrel rolls right over the top of it just there, which I've got to say is going to make an awesome photo opportunity. Now, you can see there's like a steel structure being put into place there. I'd imagine that's going to be some kind of roof, maybe just a net over there, uh, just in case for any loose articles. Because, uh, yeah, you've got to think, you are really close to that inversion there. But I tell you what, you're going to get some great shots of this coaster. Kind of walking down underneath it, that's something you can't do with Colossus at Thorpe Park um, because, obviously, you know, the pathway kind of comes in through the middle here and around the Cobra Roll. With this, you're going underneath uh, one of the final inversions here. In fact, this is inversion number nine on the ride out of the 10. But yeah, what do you think of this then from the kind of angle? I'm really excited to ride it. I can't wait. Like the colour scheme's lovely. I think it really makes it. Yeah, it does indeed. And the fact that, you know, you're going to be able to walk directly under this coaster. Quite close to it, which is nice. Yeah, really exciting. I'm going to be a bit sneaky now. I'll walk around this way. I mean, there's no fence blocking it off. So we'll have a, have a little look, see what we can see from here before we head outside. But yeah, there's a look at that structure and just how close it gets to the inversion just there obviously they've really had to think about the clearance making sure that you know you're going to be able to go underneath hence why it's pretty steep yeah it's quite hard to work out in terms of the queue line i mean maybe is the pathway going to extend kind of down to the left here yeah really hard to tell but yeah look at this absolutely awesome it's great how close you can get to the ride as well which is really nice cannot wait to see it running around here at the park we yeah, will head outside now onto the car park and we will get some more footage. Look at this. Couldn't resist getting some more footage from this angle here. Because, yeah, you can see now how from where we were around the other side, just kind of it dips down again under that final inversion. So it looks like it's going to be a through pathway here rather than the queue line. And maybe the queue is going to be around the back or possibly next to the Cobra Roll just here. Yeah, really interesting is you've got the tunnels there as well, which is awesome. Very similar to Colossus, really, the fact that it is dug into the ground. So impressive though with the awesome Cobra Roll just here. The airtime hill over there as well. And you've got to think with the lap bars, this is going to ride absolutely awesome. It really is. But uh, yeah, we'll make our way now back outside of the park and continue on with the updates of this 10 inversion roller coaster. Okay then, so we're outside of the park then now. And this is the place where I've been getting most of my updates on this coaster. And I've got to say, it's weird not seeing it now with that old color scheme. But I've got to say, I absolutely love it. I think it looks so much more modern and fresh. Now, that leads me on to talk about the theme for this ride. Now, of course, on social media, the park have really been teasing quite a few different things, haven't they? It's like sick and stuff like that. Yeah, and we've heard a few rumours that it might be a three-letter name for this ride. I think it might be called sick, like S-I-K. And also, there's a clothing brand, isn't there, as well? Yeah, we're not too familiar with it, but no, the park have been kind of hinting towards that. Yeah, so I think that's what it might be. Yeah, I mean, for a long time it was rumoured to be called Inversion. It was, 
Yeah. But who knows? Maybe they've got a sponsorship for it. Obviously, it's been an expensive project, this. Uh, they kept building throughout the pandemic, you know. So fair play to the park. You have got to think as well with Flamingo Land, they, have, they are running a zoo here. You know, they have been throughout the whole pandemic. Um, you've got to pay zookeepers. You've got to keep the animals fed. Um, so, you know, that's one thing to really think about with this project. They've kept on going. And yes, it took a very long time, two and a half years, really. However, uh, you know, unlike Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, that haven't got to pay for animals, um, they've had to do that here, haven't yeah, they, you know? Yeah, because there's quite a lot of animals to feed. And that's always got to be the priority, yeah. animal welfare. So fair play to the park. Yes, this project has felt like it's dragged on for a long time, but we are literally near the end. This will be the final construction update. It is opening, literally all the staff are saying June, July. Um, there's not much work left to do around here. We're gonna stroll around this side now. It's crazy though how close you can get to the construction site. I mean, you know, all work's finished for the night, but literally the gate's wide open down there. Uh, you know, it's crazy isn't it, how close you can get and just look at it all. But yeah, color scheme's great. Obviously the four final inversions all in a row here as well. The large loop just at the top, which is the first inversion. You got the double corkscrew, the cobra roll, and then the final barrel roll down there as well. And obviously what makes this very different to Colossus is the fact that the trains, as we've already seen, uh, will feature a lap bar restraint. Uh, and also the first drop, obviously Colossus, it kind of comes around here and drops on this side. With this, it's a much steeper drop. It also features a cable lift hill, so you'll be very surprised at how quick this is going to get to the top. But yeah, we'll make our way just around the corner and get another angle of it at the bottom of the drop. Here's one final look then at the 10 inversion coaster. Hopefully next time I show you it from this angle, we're gonna be seeing this bad boy running around the track. Cannot wait for it. But yeah, here's a look then over at the station. And actually from here, it answers quite a few of those questions that we had earlier on in terms of the queue line, because that to me, looks like it's the queue line all around here. You can see all the fencing around the bottom of the lift and loads of doors. Is there maybe, I think there's six doors or eight doors on the building there, which makes me think, is there possibly gonna be a gift shop? You've also got the glass panels at the top. I'd imagine one of them sides is the operator's cabin on there. And yeah, you've got that kind of steel effect that you can see down the bottom there as well, which is kind of a Flamingo Land classic, so to speak. It looks a little bit like uh, Hero's queue line, doesn't it, actually, with that kind of steel corrugated effect. It looks really modern, don't you think? It does. I mean, I wish it was themed. Yeah. However, it, it, it does look quite nice. It does, yeah. It looks really fresh it, modern. In a way, I'd say this coaster is more stylized, like Icon. Definitely. Yeah. at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's not really themed, it's more stylized. Now, I'm really hoping that we see um, something done with the flooring, even just some gravel put around would be really nice. However, yeah, we'll see what happens. But this big brown building just here, of course, it's got the shutter door on there as well. That's got the motor inside. And yeah, with it being the cable lift, you can see the cables are stretching up there. Now, I said earlier on um, that I thought it was more of a matte black, um, but yeah, it's actually more of a gloss finish on here because you can see the shine effect on there as well. Close up look down here at the foundations. But yeah, I'm hoping that they do put something down, maybe some trees planted around. Um, it'll be interesting to see. But you can tell we're nearly at the end of this project now. Things like the fencing here, um, just to keep people from going into the ride area. I don't think we're gonna be able to access any of this area down here. I don't think there's gonna be any queue line or viewing areas down here. Um, I think that's all gonna be kind of that side of the loop. That definitely to me looks like the queue line right there, which means you're gonna get some great views. The good thing is though, this path we're on now leads you to the holiday park. So we're gonna be able to come down here and show you some footage of it in action as much as we're not gonna be that side of the fence. Coming down here and seeing this coaster running around the first drop, we're gonna get some absolutely awesome views. And yeah, this is an angle that I really like. Gonna zoom in a bit for you, just here. Cause yeah, you get that awesome shot there, the final four inversions in a row. I say the final four, obviously you've got the one singular around the corner, but then four that are in a row, then four barrel rolls, awesome. But what I can remember from when I rode Altair over in Italy at Cine City World, which is the exact ride that we're getting here with the lap bars too, was that it was very forceful at the bottom of the drop here before going up into the loop. So yeah, I cannot wait for that. There you go, one final look. Like I say, next time, hopefully, we're going to be seeing this going round. Rumours suggesting um, June, July yeah, for this ride. I hope so, because it's not too much left to do, hopefully. This looks to me literally like a matter of weeks until we're going to be seeing this finish. So uh, I cannot wait. Of course, here at Theme Park Worldwide, we'll post on our social media channels as soon as we know an opening date for this sick new ride coming to the UK.
Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of what is hopefully the final construction update for this coaster. Oh, I, hope so. I really hope so. As much as I love filming these updates, it feels like this project has gone on for so long. But I do think that's because of the park and the setup, the pandemic, and it's an older ride. Uh, but you know what? We're nearly here now. We are. It's going to be sick. Cannot wait. Yeah, it's totally <laughs> is, sick. is that going to be the name for it? We will see. I think that's the first time I've ever said sick in that way on this oh, channel, no. to be honest. It's like getting down with the kids, isn't oh, it? No, it's going to be down. sick. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us. Of course, tomorrow here on the channel, we'll have a full vlog from the park. Uh, we just wrapped up on a, on a day in the park. We've had a great time, haven't really we? Really good day. Yeah, loads of on-ride POVs, which is good from all the different rides. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up tomorrow here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, unfortunately, Hero, bit of a spoiler for you. Oh. I've been on it and my shoulders are aching. It's not good. I'm actually in pain, but it's coming up in the vlog tomorrow. Join us for a painful ride on Hero, getting back on Kamali for the first time in two years, and much more as well. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Charlotte, and that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in tomorrow's vlog.